So we understand light as behaving like a wave, like on the ocean, with a wavelength and a speed, but also like a particle, a little packet of energy. And the energy amount is h times nu, Planck's constant times the frequency of the light. Now, a particle has momentum. And we've seen the momentum of the particle, that photon, can cause an electron to be ejected from a metal. We saw in the photoelectric effect, a incoming photon ejecting electrons from a metal. So how does that particle nature and wave nature reconcile themselves? Well, let's talk about that. The light wave particle duality. If light behaves like a wave, we understand with a wavelength and a frequency and a speed, we can write down its energy as a particle as h times nu and h times c over lambda using the wave properties to write the energy in two different ways. Now, the wave particle, the light particle that we call a photon, has a momentum. We've seen it can transfer momentum from the photon to the electron, but the momentum is we often associate with mass. But the photon has no mass. The photon is a particle and it massless moving at the speed of light. But we can say the energy of the particle, use Einstein's uh, equation for relativistic particles moving near the speed of light, mc squared is the energy. Now we have two expressions for the energy, the energy of the photon and the relativistic energy mc squared. Mass times velocity mass times the speed of light c in this case for a photon can be written as the momentum times c. So the momentum is m times c times another c gives you mc squared. So these expressions for the energy, equivalent to these expressions to the energy, so what we can do is write the momentum then in terms of these two energies and we'll find the momentum is the Planck's constant divided by the wavelength. So a simple relationship between the momentum and the wavelength, the particle characteristic, momentum, and the wave characteristic, the wavelength, both expressed at the same time. Waves and particles acting the way they choose. Sometimes light will behave like a wave. Sometimes it behaves like a particle. There's a duality between them expressed by this beautiful relationship between the wavelength and the momentum. Planck's constant, again, an extremely small number, is the proportionality constant between the momentum and the wavelength. So waves, particles, light, we have to think of them all at the same time.